more importantly, after driving the thing over hundreds of kilometers of Spanish mountain roads and autovias, I found that time taken to bring the XC90 to market was well spent. Not only does the SUV hew closely to the sensible values that have made the best Volvos of the past great vehicles, but it might just be the hottest thing going in the three-row luxury segment today. Volvo's commitment to thoughtful design, both inside and outside of the XC90, is evident even at a casual glance. The exterior reads as solid and fairly simple relative to modern body panel surfacing, but still playfully evokes some of the wagon shapes that made the company famous. The upright stance and slightly squared front and rear may not quite be as bluff as a 240 wagon, but I still see evidence of that heritage alive in this design. Of course, the very large wheels, 21 inches were optioned on my T6 inscription model, and a long, wide stance do bring the design up to the minute, as does the weighty grillwork and excellent lighting elements. Those tall and curving rear light clusters could have been culled directly from a concept car a few years ago, and the Thor's hammer-shaped front legs mix a modern graphic with a sense of play.